you're still watching Saturday Night Fever and like I said, this has certainly been quite a week here in Bollywood and any time we have Ram Gopal Varma on the show, we can be guaranteed a controversial quote or two or ten and Ramu certainly didn't disappoint at a special screening of his next The Attacks of 2611 even if he claims that this film is his most non-controversial till date. Love him, hate him but you cannot absolutely ignore him and we somehow suspect that Ram Gopal Varma likes it exactly like this. You actually don't really care what people's opinions are of you. That is very clear from the press conference also today, sir. You were just taking it all with this, the same expression on your face. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I care a lot, whether you believe it or not. Really? Yeah. It doesn't seem like that. <laughs> okay, I do, I do, yeah. But don't you feel that you're one of those people who likes to quote controversy? I know that you perhaps are not doing this film just out of controversial mm -hmm. reasons, but whether it's your tweets, whether it's your statements, you actually like to get a reaction out of people, even if it's a, not a very yeah, pleasant one. See, see, I mean, yeah. what is the point of you saying or doing something which you don't have a reaction? I mean, not to just to be politically right, morally right, whatever, all the time. And, uh, but as far as uh, 2611 is concerned, I think you're right, because see, controversy happens when there is somebody who will disagree with you. Yeah. And there's no disagreement on the subject matter. We know that 10 terrorists came and they did this and who they are, we know. And there's no dispute or misunderstanding or disagreement on that. So I would say 2611 is my most non-controversial film. Okay, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who would not particularly agree with you I on that. No, because my point is they keep saying that. It's controversy, it's controversy, but I'm not understanding where that will come from. Well, that probably comes from the way it all started as well, sir, in terms of, you know, that, that infamous, infamous, you know, yeah. visit to no, the see, Taj and things like that. That's a different thing. That's yeah. not related to the film. But my point is well, from... See, I realize one thing. People don't ever listen to explanations. Hmm. That's the main point. Hmm. They already made up their mind. Hmm. I asked a simple question, what could have possibly seen hmm. what the media has not been showing for the last three days? Hmm. I saw broken glasses, hmm. I saw wet floors, hmm. dirty looking uh, floors, which hmm. is what the media was showing. Hmm. So what can I possibly get from that? Hmm. And the police themselves didn't know at that point of time uh, what's happening and what can I know? Hmm. So obviously after three years, after the investigation was completed and then I got to know so many aspects about it through the police and live witness account. That is when slowly an idea came to my mind mm. how we can film mm. this particular uh, subject. Mm. So there are two separate issues. Absolutely. Like if, if, I, if, if an incident happened where I live in a city mm. and obviously if I had an opportunity to see that mm. place mm. because of my association with somebody, I took that mm. out of curiosity. Mm. If today 9-11 World Trade Center is a tourist center, that mm. doesn't mean that they're insensitive. They just are curious to see where it happened mm. and what, why is wrong, what is wrong with that. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, they say that curiosity killed the cat also. So curiosity yeah, sometimes so I, is... I yeah. think in this case, the media killed the cat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not curiosity. <laughs> I think it's like overdrive of the media which did it. Yeah. Okay, well, fair enough. And also, you know, you obviously, this, this is going to be my last question because lots of people yeah. want to interview you today. You've gotten really into the mind of Kasab in so many ways, I'm sure. You've spent a lot of time reading up on him, finding out things about him. Um, you know, what did you, what was your first reaction when you heard that, you know, that obviously Kasab is, is no more? What was your first reaction? I mean, I, I kind of was not, I mean, I was surprised because really it happens in India that uh, something so suddenly happened, something mm. as major event as that. We've, we've seen that with Saddam Hussein and uh, of course the attack on Osama bin Laden, but uh, in India, I think it happened for the first time to my knowledge. Something so I mean, uh, eagerly looked forward to, mm. and so many people asking this question, so I would have expected uh, a long run-up after the mercy petition was rejected. Mm. But the fact it could happen so suddenly, it took me by surprise. What? He's dead? What are you saying? Mm. Mm. And it was that. Mm. But I guess then I kind of drew parallels and understood where it is coming from. Absolutely. And, you know, and, okay, my final, final question. Uh, obviously, a lot of people, you know, have their, you know, doubts as to why really you're doing this kind of film. They feel that perhaps another director should have do, done it, considering the way it all started out. But, you know, the fact that, you know, perhaps all these, um, you know, the proceeds of the film are going to go towards charity and towards the victims. Do you feel that that will actually help to keep your critics quiet? Yes, I mean, see, first of all, I don't think critics have anything to do with that. And also, there is not what something I said. That is what uh, the producer so I'm just a director for the film uh, so I'm not a part of that particular statement India's number one news app just got even better download NDTV's new app fully optimized for retina display 
full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.